Happy Tuesday! Oh, you got a brush, right? I swear, lady. Had that all worked out and, and she's moving things. Is that better? Yeah. Oops. Hello, everyone. We're doing so much better. Still a little, you know. There's still some stuff, but hopefully we won't be coughing nearly as much. And You know, we're doing better. Doing better. Yeah. Nezzy's feeling good today. We discussed that there's some pluses and minuses to that. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just highly energetic <laughs> when she's feeling better. And if we, if we aren't 100%, then, you know. Yeah, she wears you down. She wears you down. <laughs> You're just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> there, there, was, there was some kerfuffle up I, here. Uh, uh, there was <laughs> some discussion. Yeah. On, on when she should be doing things and how willing she is to be a part of that. <laughs> anyway, this is P over here. M over there, Patricia, Mariah, and, and together, together we are PMR the studio. studio. Yeah, that was good that we went there because I'm still all air. <laughs> and I did take my cough syrup. But now her nose is running. <laughs> but now my nose is running. <laughs> Plus, your mom if you do it all. All righty. Let's say hello to everybody. Remember, say hello in the chat so I can say hello back. Otherwise, I don't know that you're here. Those of you that have come in and who are hanging out, who, you know, are regulars, remember, thumbsy upsies, if you haven't already. Um, I see a lot of things that you have. That's awesome. And I'll wait until that kind of, ooh, it's not loading up. I, I think the chat thing's a little funky. Look at old YouTube doing some weird things. So say hello. Hello. <laughs> Now that made me laugh. Okay. We've got Anne, April, Heather, Belinda, Camilla. Hello, you're back. Carrie, Darcy, Dana, Deb C, Diane, Bell, Griffin Shale. That's Rhonda. And see, then it moved on me. Christine G. Hello. Uh, Deb C. Okay. Jacqueline's here. Jacqueline, please check your messages over on Facebook. I sent you the little video. Judy Peace here. Huta. Uh, Yuta. It's Utah. It's Utah. I don't know. It's, see, my, my little Spanish brain says, hey, that J should sound like an H. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a Y. It's more Utah. There we go. Uh, we've got Evie here. Hooray, Evie. Do we want to show that? Or are you just teasing me? All right. It's I'll very rough. It is very rough. <laughs> but it'll be fun. Okay. Go to, go to Starbucks, please. Are you going to Starbucks? I want something. What do you want? Um, I don't know what Mariah had, but I don't want like a big one. A cappuccino? Yes. Okay. I just want like it's a something. Hot coffee. Smallish. Okay. Okay, so we got you and Linda and Maxine. Nightbot is our chick that here is here to drop in the info that is prompted by either you or many of our moderators. They they prompt her to do things. She has info. Reverend Sonia's here. Sherry, Silver Granny, that's Lynn. Stitching Arc, that's Paula. Susan <coughs> Dufresne, Tina, Trish, and I think, oh, Jamie popped in here. Oh, and Hawaii, Hawaiian Brat. Hello. Who are you? Yes. Or we can just call you Hawaiian. We're cool with that. Hello, Mary Thomas. See, it didn't pop into my, my participant. Hello, Mary. How are you? thing okay what are we doing today should i go topside she's been working on the thing on yes. the doodle bombs i am absolutely just thrilled entertained highly impressed all of the above you guys over makers i i mean doing your doodle bombs i really had no idea like i knew that we thought this was fun but it is fun it is fun and, I think, and you should just make it fun. It shouldn't be work. Yeah, no, it shouldn't. You should not ever get stressed about this. Like, this should not be, I am not doing this right. There's no way to do it wrong. No. At all. Yeah. It is. It's your <laughs> your preference. I just am of the opinion that more is better. So, that's that's kind of where I come from. Oh, okay. Hawaiian brat. She says, 
Oh, she's from Central Texas. We're in Texas. Oh, I don't know if you knew yeah. that or not, but we're here in Texas. We're not very central, though. I don't know. What do you call that? We're, we're in the Dallas area. But we're north of Dallas. Yeah, and we're very north Dallas. Some people call it Oklahoma. If you're like downtown Dallas or like, you know, Dallas people, we're in Oklahoma. <laughs> it isn't necessarily uh -huh. a good thing. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, we don't do much anymore. Hey, Susan Anderson. I'm so glad she's lurking and eating. I'm glad you said hello. Okay. <clears throat> Staying hydrated. It's important. Absolutely. All right, so P is obviously, you know, I had to take this away from her. She, she kind of did the thing. She's like, well, they knew I was going to do this stuff. I'm like, yeah. But see, I knew if I left it with her, I said, just hand it over. Because it would have gotten, she would have done the face and everything. But then she grabbed one of the other ones. <laughs> Did a little practice based stuff over there, which is pretty good. Because why did you do that? Well, I want to talk about it because, you know, I I had I wanted to repeat the motifs that I've got up here in the jester's hat on the face because I don't want them to look like they don't belong together. I I want them to have some sort of continuity, some sort of um. What, what is the word that I'm looking for? Um. Cohesive? Cohesive, yes. Cohesiveness in both. And so I was playing around and I thought, well, I, I don't know how I want to do the eye. So I went ahead and did this eye and I was, I'm really glad that I did because I don't necessarily like it. I, yeah. I kind of yeah, mucked it about. I think it could work. But then I thought, well, what about the leaf? Because we've got a leaf motif here. And I don't necessarily think that our, our leaf here here is the same as here, but I think if I use similar colors, it's going to have a relationship not only to this, right. but to this as well. Yeah. So that's my thought. That's that's it's where a I'm blended coming from. styling of the two. Yes, and even though they're not exactly the same, I think there's enough relationship. Mm -hmm. to one to the other that they're they're going to work together and, and be friends. Now, the other thing I wanted to caution you about friends. when you are using you are getting in and you are really working an area and your hand is touching the paper especially with the um, colored pencils because they will your, well, yeah the, the um, skin oil or in my case it would be hand lotion because I keep mine lotioned up all the time otherwise I have terrible problems with my eczema really popping out and hurting so I hydrate my hands a lot you need to keep that paper down there so that your hand can move about and you can see it's almost like after a while it just moves with you right and that that's what you want it to do all right I have been tweaking this and, and, and adding some little you know, little things here and there and, mm -hmm. and cleaning up lines. And if I can see some white or see where there is an area where, you know, it just needs a bit more on the black because I can still see little pieces of white showing. Also coming back in with my colored pencils and doing the same thing. All right. So I was looking at these eyes here and I said, well, Mariah, which one do you like? She says, well, I, I, I think it would be cool to have one of each. And I'm almost, you know, I think that that might be. Yeah. That, that's what I'm shooting for here. I think It's something cool. like this. All right. So two parts here. The reason I did this on here, well, Mariah took this away and I didn't have this anyway. Probably a good thing because I would have messed it all up. And we'd have to do something else. I'd have to chop off the hat and put it on another head. Which I, I already, that was already that. a plan. Yeah. You know, just chop it off here and then insert it on a head. Yeah, so here's the thing. Like, if you end up having, like, these printed at a print, so if you're doing these on your own, um, I would highly recommend it because if you don't have a laser printer, because a laser, laser printed versions of these are quite lovely because they don't bleed or run, especially if you're using different markers and such. 
especially like water-based markers. And right. then what you'll want to do is have them print off quite a few copies because you may kind of mess one up or, you know, like yeah. we're saying, cut them up and do different things. Just a little tip. Now, when you're experimenting with your color pencils, do use the same kind of paper because different papers are going to take the thing different differently. And what I was doing here is... Actually, that you said that, um, just just the thought that I just popped in my brain because um, Maxine had said, she's like, my pencils don't look as smooth as that. It could be the paper. It could be the paper. Very and well remember, be the paper. remember, this is the 32-pound hammer mill Which is premium. very, very fine tooth. Yeah. And slicky. when you're doing colored pencils, that's my recommendation. I, I would stay away from any of the that have any texture at all because it's going to show up. Well, Unless and, you want it textured. Right. And you want to consider, because again, this is very mixed media. We're not only just using colored pencils. You're doing marker. You're doing lots of different things. And for the fine line work, the smoother paper is quite ideal. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And and uh, there's just no bones about it. It... it it makes a difference. Now this is the Jack Richardson paper that I did these little things on it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I you can see right here. And there's hold, some tooth on to this paper. Hold that up into the technology if you would cuz then um I think Maxine can kind of get a better idea. That's probably more of what you're getting cuz she said she was using Prismacolor pencils. Yeah. So that's probably the main thing that's happening there. Hello, Angie. And welcome to all y'all that are coming in. Um, said hello to Eddie and Mary. She's, she's wanting to know if we had a shop that she could come to. <laughs> and said, well, not unless you want to go to their house. <coughs> right now, it's Pardon a me. mess. <laughs> I don't, right now, unless, unless you signed a waiver. Yes. <laughs> and a disclaimer. We don't have, we don't have racks and stuff. Everything that we do, we pretty much cut to order. Yeah. Now, every once in a while, when it's a, a if we can do multiple ups or anything like that, we will have, you know, inventory. But it's pretty much every order is cut to order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Non-disclosure of, like, what, what you saw. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, I hey, just, friend. I wanted to make that perfectly clear, and that can be some of your um, issues. Now, there is a way to get around that, even if you do have paper that is slightly more textured that means you need to have your pencil sharpened that much more i don't want to do she glue says on i can brow. see it would be my paper perfect okay good i'm glad that we kind of worked that because i was thinking yeah. about it and i'm like that just didn't really cross my mind at the time and the thing about it is is every single paper is going to take the the prisma colors differently mm -hmm. and you can just see right here there's a lot more open areas there like you can still make it work. You just have to work at it more. And you've got to keep your pinpoint sharp. Because once it starts getting fatter, it's, it's just going to go over the bumps rather than go into the bumps. If yeah. that makes perfectly good sense. That's a really nice color. <laughs> That's ultramarine. I love all your little swatchy notes there. It looks... You know, the reason I did this is because I can't remember the names of colors and I need to start remembering the names of colors because I think it's important. Okay, the sepia... And I don't really... I'm not talking about this in relationship to this. It's just colored pencils in general. So, you know, if this, this is not your thing. Swatch them out. You will be surprised because the color that you see in the lead... It's not always the color that goes onto the paper. Um, it just really isn't. Like I can take this one right here, and this one is called chestnut. Now well, I've got chestnut. Here's chestnut right here. Okay, so you see chestnut there on that paper. All right here's chestnut on the. Is that the hammer mill? This is the hammer mill. So it starts out a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. See that? Because it just skates across the surface. You think if it had more it's teeth, nice it's and smooth. Hold more. Yes. Yeah. And the thing is, is you can you yes. can get it to go as dark as you want it to go, but you're just gonna have to keep going over it and over it and over it and over it. Or, or now, you can you know do it like I do it. 
Yeah. Just bear down. Yeah, go in with intent. <laughs> this kind of paper is going to be a lot more conducive to that heavy handedness because you can oh, make okay. that as dark as you want it to. It's a little more difficult to get it to go smooth, smooth transitions. Whereas this transitions beautifully. Yeah. Even though that this, you know, is slightly skatey, I still, I really, I like this paper. It, it, it feels nice when you're going through it. Will you hold those up to the camera, please, together? Okay. So they this can... is chestnut here. <clears throat> uh, yes, I mean, chestnut. snacks are always welcome and would definitely get you further in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol also. Yeah, that was mentioned as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, all right, here we go. Now, um, I'll tell you what, I've been losing my identity pins right and left. I, I opened up one, a brand new one, the other day, and I... Yeah, now she's all, like, you know... I don't know where it is. Well, also, Izzy has been up here, and she's been taking off the things. She's... Is she... Oh, uh, Rhonda. Okay, we're going to open presents on Sunday, because we figured, I mean, we're going to come on. I don't know how long we'll be on or, you know, what exactly we're going to do, but I wanted to open up some of the... Presents that you guys had sent us, um, and no, I, some things. I, and I'm sorry, I opened some of mine. I just okay. couldn't stand it. Yeah, Rhonda, Rhonda she, I just couldn't stand it. And she I, sucks at waiting. I love I, my palm. I don't know what you call it. My shedded palm part. <laughs> I, I haven't decided my... yet what I'm going to do with it, but I am certainly mulling it about. Is he wrapped mine? Like I know that you put like. Mine was wrapped in some like. Oh well, paper she took. Or okay, so this is what Izzy did. I mean, she loves wrapping, just, and she has since she was a little bitty. Oh god! I yeah, mean, before she it. could even. She used to get washcloths and wrap the soap. Yeah. You remember that? Uh, yes. I, I mean, just spin. wrap all kinds of stuff. <laughs> as a little little bitty thing, so now now she's a little more, and so she yeah. took she took the penguin tissue paper. And, Izzy and 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 Pete opened theirs. I have not. I will open mine on Christmas Day. Like a proper, good, you know, present receiver. Well, it doesn't make me appreciate it any less the fact that I opened it early. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. And yeah. I was talking Hello, Martha. about um, Izzy and her. Okay, and our little tussle today. Sometimes when you send her things, I don't let her have them right away. I put them up on the shelf because here's the thing. Yeah. In about six months, she's going to really appreciate those things a lot more. Yeah. Right now, if we give her something, it's completely used up. Yeah. Stickers, I mean, it, you know, they're just everywhere. So some of the really cute things that you do send her, I put them up. And I, I was very happy about, well, I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, uh, we, we've got, I mean, you're supposed to, like, do, do okay, the so and things. Okay, this, so this is, look at this cool card. See the little bead here? Ooh. Is this the one from Rhonda? This is the one from Rhonda. See, I haven't seen it because these people open their things. And I could even smell the tea. <laughs> it's it's really interesting. It's, it's very... um. We should have some of that tonight. Yeah, we should. I just you have to be careful with is it the, caffeine? That, yes. The, oh. And it has it has caffeine in it. But that is so beautiful. Just absolutely Hold love that. Put that up into the camera. I tell you, lady. Oh. See it shaking? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> careful. Beautiful envelope and a beautiful <clears throat> gel print. And I can tell that's on good paper. Really nice, nice job on that. But now here is, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it pees all over that. Now, she wants me to decorate it or do something with it. She loves it as is. I won't. I'll just tell you right now. I absolutely it it. adore it, just like it is. I will put it like this, uh -huh. and I will arrange and rocks things. and things leaves. Dust. It's to build dust. <coughs> But it has been, I loved it. She says, it has been washed 
and baked in the oven so there are not any critters coming along with it. it, it that is a really great idea. I brought some birch, she brought some birch, critters. Bro, birch bark from Alaska, and I fortunately I put yes. it in a jar. I wanted to protect it. So it's a screw top jar. Boy, I'm glad I did. When I got here, there were all kinds of little ookies down in there that indicated that even though I couldn't see them, they were there. Uh-huh. Yeah. This little... Oh, Diane says you could actually um, build some of those little succulent, like we could get the little ones and plant them in there. Oh. That would be super cute. That would be. Now, I, I would like that. But they would have to be fixed so that you could... The reason that I kind of hesitate to, you know, to put these things on this side where I can't see the other side is because I love this side. It may have to just yeah. become part of a still life on the on the shelf. Which <laughs> shelf? <laughs> that one over there? I don't know. <laughs> we used to have flat surfaces for we such did. things. I'm very happy about this. this. I'm telling you, we need a hotel. We need a hotel badly. We, we could do. decorate. Then we could just have rooms. And I'm not sure where this tag came from. And then you got a site, like, I don't know. like. But I, it, it came from. Oh, I think that one came in. Um, it came in the same one. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline, I took the back of some of that paper and glued it on here. I cut this out because it was on, oh, look stuck at that. on. You should, yeah, put that on her little. Yeah. And I thought, you know, she can use these for little bookmarks oh, in her little, because she's really, she's into writing stories. We haven't gotten back to cat, catastrophe. Catastrophe, had, yeah. But, where she um, had two days, of, or about 24 hours of the stomach flu. <coughs> flu. <coughs> flu. Aw, thank you, serious Hecka, Lisa. She's giving us some super chat yourself. All right, thank you. Yes, very much. I don't know what that's for, or just, you know. Okay, now, where was I here? But anyway, thank you for those. <laughs> Usually it's when we're talking about, like, you know, needing um, whiskey or cough drops or <laughs> something. People start giving you money. But, oh. That's so I don't know. Lisa's just I'm, I'm doing pretty you. pretty good Thanks, on the Lisa. on the I think the coffee right now. Oh, she says because I love you guys and Izzy. All right, well let's do this eyeball here. Okay, so you can see on Mariah's eyes here. No one's eyes. No, nobody has absolutely symmetrical eyes. I am pretty symmetrical though. And you will know that when you do this and duplicate this and flip it uh -huh. and put it down you won't even recognize yourself, yourself sometimes. yeah it's weird it is so very weird, weird. I, I i did it and i'm i'm not i'm not symmetrical and i'm not symmetrical <laughs> judy says i've never looked so better looked better than in some of these doodle bomb pictures I, you guys had a whole doodle bomb party it was awesome oh really yes hmm it was her niece and nephew and sister her son was there it's a party hello susan <coughs> and now i might go ahead and make this more like this rather than divide it up because we've got a very small space to work with here. So I think I'm going to do that. Just do the little dots. <laughs> Certainly. Lynn says she bakes anything that she brings home. <laughs> I think it's a really good idea. All right. I think that looks good. Now we just have to do the other side. And it doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Oh, yes. I think that, you know, and I hadn't planned on this at all. Like, and like I said in the beginning there that, you know, I know that we thought it was fun. And I felt like I was kind of cheating once again with the whole um, creative collab. But this has turned into quite, I mean, I've got the two process videos because I don't know if a lot of you actually have seen. I, I know here in the chat. Uh, a lot of you have already watched P's version that I did in the speed through video. And um, 
Dempsey even already has, she, she put the timestamps and the funny stuff. I, I always love some Dempsey timestamp stuff because it just cracks me up. But um, just seeing everybody's and, 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 and being able to post those, it's like, a, it is. It's a great Christmas day or, you know, you have the family over, you're like, what are we going to do? I'm like, here, let's take some photos and print them out real quick. <laughs> Bring out the markers. Well, seriously, because sometimes, and especially if the weather is not yeah. cooperating with you and you've got kids that are driving you absolutely bonkers. Mm -hmm. Now, I do not know. I, I, I'm not feeling this down leaf here so much. Well, because, he, and I'll tell you what I think that is. You know, you have to think that, like, see, I'm looking like this. So you're actually losing... Um, when you're straight on, you would see more of that. So, because I'm sort of looking, you know, or my face is down, you're yes. not going to see as much of that. So, it's not going to work as well. Or you're going to need to make it really big. And then you got to watch out with that whole turn of the cheek. That's why I think that these doodle bombs are a great way to practice and, and, and get your eye trained on... Just either shadowing and just un getting more familiar with the face as a form. It is. And, and the whole thing about it is, and I've got to look at what colors I used here. I don't think it makes any difference. I can just Hello, make, Jeanette. It, make it up as I go. <laughs> and I'm really glad that I kind of made the decision not to do the lines on this because otherwise I would have had to make it a lot larger. Well, okay, so here I'll tell you. <laughs> Deb says, what is the reasoning for the angle of the photo? So one of the things is that, um, because I have this, I think that this is a good view of me. I like the lines of my face at this angle. <laughs> it's a vanity thing. <laughs> but also, it was for a project. Yeah, I remember this was from Let It Rain and we were Holding well, our like hands out to catch better. the rain. Yeah, and yours were more like this, which is really great. But yours were way out the side, just like your. Well, let us hold it, like for rain. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, rain. See, she was all like, rain. <laughs> she looks like she's being rain. stopped by the police. <laughs> this photo could be used Certainly for lots of a things. possibility, <laughs> isn't it? There was a time. There was a time. <laughs> okay. So here we go again with, all right, now what color? Oh, this is really important. Hey, Mary Ellen. The violet blue. I need violet blue. Is that violet blue? Yes, that is. Look at that. Pulling it out there. And I went with the darker colors on the dark side simply because I thought, you know, it's not going to show up with the lighter colors anyway. I don't want to push too hard to begin with. Yeah, you can always... You can get you can, there. You can always come back in. All right. And what else was I using oh, there? Oh, and Lynn. Um, Lime green. These are laser printed. Because, like I said, I, I found this. Now, the, our original ones, that, that very first doodle bomb that we did two years ago, those were inkjet because we didn't have the laser printer then. We only had gotten the laser printer when P was all into the photo transfer. And then she, you know, fat. You know, she, she got it done, and she can't repeat it exactly, so she usually just put booze on it. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I just think that there's a lot better ways to expend my energy. I, I, I don't really like, like the effect of them, and I'm going to have to come in with my marker again and go over that because I'm losing all of my... Okay, what do you think? A lot of times you can order them ahead. Um... Rhonda or anybody that's interested, like Kinko's or any of the quick print shops, if you, um, a lot of them have online ordering, so you can upload the files, get it all ready, and then just go pick it up. So you yeah. don't have to, like, be in the shop. Yeah. All right. Now, over here, I have to do her lips. Her lips have to be in, um. <laughs> this Patty says. Uh, the vanity comment, it takes me at least an hour to get prepared to go on a Zoom call. See? Yeah. Got to get the lighting right. Make sure everything, you know, not only you are good, but then the things behind you. And 
So I used to worry about that until I got my eyeballs worked on and I couldn't wear makeup. And I'm still kind of leery about it. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to get an eye infection at this point. Uh, Susan, I am going to drop a link in. Um, the one that we actually have is no longer available, but there's one similar. Like it recommends it. it says, okay, well, they don't have that particular model. One thing that I would highly recommend when you're buying any printer is to make sure, and it's going to be a little bit more expensive, that it is Wi-Fi. Because if you don't have a LAN hook-in, that's a real pain in the badooty. We know this because we had to do that one of the, with, with that printer. Like, it has to be the one that we have was not the Wi-Fi one. So, I will drop a link so you guys can check it out. Um, and the prices went up for a while, but I think they are starting to come back down. Yes, that's, that's, that's all that stuff. Let's see. Um, HP. And I will say this. Okay, actually, I'm going to put... So, here's the... I don't know anybody that has one, but HP does now make what they call like a tankless. Or um, you fill it up with like toner. It's a big tank. Kind of like the eco printer, you know, ones that have the little, instead of, you know, doing the little toner cartridge things, it's a tank. So they have a laser printer version. I don't know about it, but it, it is an HP product, which I quite like. I mean, I know that even from back in the day with the office business. Um, <coughs> so that's that one, that second link that I put into the chat, that's that, um, the toner tank. It's cartridge free. And in laser print world, that's a great thing because th they're really chunky. Now, I always send ours back. That's the other thing I like about the HP is that they, you know, put the label in the box that you can send that stuff back to them. So, it, the, <laughs> printers are divas. That is true. And each and every one of them has their own little quirkinesses. Absolutely. Here's my baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I noticed on the first one you did of me, you, you, you rounded out my face, which I was like, well, for the, you know. Well, I can't see an edge there. Yeah. You gotta follow the line of the other side. So you're doing a better job this time. Oh, what kind of phone did you get, Martha? Hello, Debbie. <laughs> be related to, yeah, <laughs> cousins the night bot. Oh, it's pretty cool. Brad, Brad has the newest one. That's his phone. But I was like, would you please just stop? It, 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 it's done. <laughs> please get a new phone. Or if he didn't want the new one, he could have mine, which was a 12, which I quite like. But he does have the newest one. It's, it's, it's nice. I, I, it's amazing the videos and things that it, it, it takes. I'm glad you practiced the eyes. Me too, because I really like these eyes. Mm -hmm. I would like that makeup for real. Well, I could gesso you and do it. <laughs> it gesso me? You have to start with white. I don't know that I, I want to lay there that long. What would be cool is if you could do it on tissue paper. And then we could... Glue it on? Glue it on. Yeah, I don't see that going well. Why not? I, I don't know. You could use that, like, um, you know, the stuff that they... Well, heck, a lot of people, you know, the FX people that do the really crazy... They, they use glue sticks on their eyebrows. 
I, I don't know if that's good for you. I used to remember when I would go to the club and I loved putting stars on my face, but like after about two seconds, they would just, you know, sweat and come right off. Well, I'd super glue them to me. Heavy duty. <laughs> well, if you did it over the makeup, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't like direct to skin. Oh, yeah, Brad, Brad will not, like, we don't get a new, new phone. The only reason I got one is because Castle threw his away. <laughs> it didn't do it on purpose. It, it fell it into the trash, and it, we didn't discover it until, until they it was already, already the collected the... Oh, Susan says she thinks I need a tattoo, like, on, on, on my, you know, neck and cleavage area. <laughs> Can you draw in one? It's on that swirly business. Something leafy. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing you. Okay. I haven't decided if I want to do that or not. Oh, Ann says, yes, medical liability disclaimer, use of super glue on face has not been approved by the FDA. It's <clears throat> probably true. Yeah. Duh. I'm just like... She's looking out for us. <laughs> Thank you, Ann. Thank you, Ann. Dear Lord, I would never do anything like that. Rhonda super glued her daughter's head wound 20 years ago. They well, do save for cuts and things. See, yeah. mine wasn't even like, you know, it was topical. <laughs> it wasn't internal. But it was for, you know. Okay, well, what I will do is I will keep working at this until it's the same saturation as this up here. Okay? Yes. Understood. Everybody understands that. Yes. It's just, it, it takes a lot of time, and you know that it takes a lot of time. All right, now let's talk about the hands here. Because we, we need to deal with that. I've got this version, which I'm not crazy about. I really like this one better. I hope the doctor did it. And and then, yeah, I didn't ask, I didn't use acetone to remove it. I just, because I would do it over my makeup. Like, I would, you know, put foundation and things on. So, it would stick through that. But by the end of the night, again, sweating and whatnot, it was an easy just peel it off. Well. Sorry, I just I, I, thought I don't, I, people I, I know about all that. I think that's a terrible idea. I don't think you should do that. Well, and Rhonda said that it was the doctor that actually super glued oh. the head wound. I wow. think they, yeah, do that like on, you know. Okay, now, the thing that I just keep doing is I just keep coming back in here and smoothing out. And adding, yeah. clearing up any white lines that are still existing. I just keep doing that until I'm totally satisfied with it. <laughs> or something I, else comes along. <laughs> or Yeah, or something else comes along. <laughs> I mean, seriously, yeah. that, that is exactly. It'll be done when I, you know, either I'm extremely bored with it and I just want to be done with it. I really like that. <laughs> Hello, Isabel. Welcome to those of you that are coming in. Please say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. We are live as long as you have access to the chat. That means we are live. If you don't, please let us know. Leave some comments below that you stopped by. Just, you know, say hi. If you want to be entered, oh, we are like 95, I think, away from our 5,000 subscribers. So come back, leave those comments, timestamp, you know, hey, at 30 minutes in, really loved what you're doing. Or ask a question, whatever. That, that, it all works. And I think this next week, let's think about printing on the bags. Okay. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I and I don't think that we ever printed on fabric during a life because it's kind of tricky. But I think we can do it. It's tricky because it's <clears throat> it's hard to do it right here and and have room on both sides because it actually requires at least two people, if not three. Yeah, so I'll probably just turn off my camera over here and then I'll be ready over off to the side. And then I think we can I think we can do it. It'll be fun. If not, at least it'll be humorous. Yes. <laughs> True blue. Okay. I started that over here and I really like it. It's almost a glowy thing. It looks like light shining through her sleeve or something there. Hmm. And I want to go ahead and do this sort of the same way that I did everything else. But I really, I like the idea of having the leaves come out the tips of the fingers. At least maybe just the index finger. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. One of the sets that P really, really likes is the um, Under the Sea. Remember, that was one of the sets that you bought not too long ago, and because it, it had all those blues in it. Here is that link. If you guys are thinking about getting some new ones and you really like the blues, that's a great one. It is. And I highly recommend it. Because the thing about it is, it it's going to have, you may even duplicate some of your colors by ordering uh, multiple sets of whatever. That's okay. Because you're never going to get it at that price anyway. Yeah. It, it's just, it's just, a, it's just better to do it that way. Yeah, they get to be like this big and you can barely like get them in the sharpener. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you can't, all right, um, so Lynn says, can't you um, attach the fabric to a stretcher frame before printing on it? Yes, and we kind of tried that. Now, we didn't like actually attach it, attach it. We did have these boards in there. They actually got in the way more than anything. Yeah, it, they really did. The, the best thing that we did is we just, we put something in between so that it, it didn't inadvertently transfer to the back. Yes. Okay, put in between the front and the back, and then stretched it. And just kind of held it in place. Right. Because what we did is we actually didn't bring the shirt to the plate. We brought the plate to the shirt. Yes. On a, the flat surface. Because basically we put up, set up one of those TV trays. Because that's yeah. one of the things that we have around here that just works for flat surface. Yeah. Um, and had that ready. And it was really great for the t-shirts because it was almost like the perfect kind of size to where you could like line up the neck and where it hit and then where you could put the plate yeah that more than anything was quite helpful yeah it's just sort of having that squared up quickly enough that you could because we wanted to do we ended up with three we got three shirts out of some of those one plates got one print Um, so, Paula wants to know, are there grades of Prisma color? I don't yes. know that. There are. There's um, Vera Thins. Oh. And it, those are nice if you want to do very, um, a lot more line work, because they're, they're harder. These are softer, creamier, creamier colors. Right, to fill it in. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. And there's also, I just noticed on some of mine, some of them say Premier. Oh, yeah, she's seen some, she's seen Premier and then some and say Eagle. 
And I don't know, I've got both. And I don't really, I don't notice a huge difference. But you know. Okay, so what I did is I, I was opposite eye to um I like that because it's kind of like you could go I'm into this. <laughs> I want this outfit. Oh uh Debsy says try fine grain sandpaper under um a T to hold it in place. Oh, not a bad idea. I, again, I don't remember there being that much kind yeah, of slippy we, around. It wasn't. It wasn't slippy, slippy. And we were more annoyed by because we had put a. Um, <laughs> it was really the shelves from our um, slot things down the stairs, and they kind of got in the way more than anything. And we really actually didn't even have an issue with the paint running through the shirt, and. Even on those first ones that were heavily, you know, had quite a bit of paint on them. Yeah. All right. Again, I will just work at this until I get it to that stage where it is just very saturated. Rhonda, I think they do have, like, I, I, actually, they, they do have the larger sets. I don't know if they bust them up into, like, the under the sea. I think the smaller sets are the ones that they get a little more clever with their marketing um, to break out the colors to, to talk about that. The bigger the set, I think it's more like just you're kind of getting more color of, of like all kinds of things. Okay, and I need indigo. And indigo is in, in the undersea. Um, Yes, Acme. Um, we haven't done that yet. We had talked about it, and I know that Patty, um, Patty Tolly Parish, years and years ago, because she talked about hers. Um, and then I think there is an actual video. Talked about what? Um, she had made a shirt or two using the small gel plates and stamped on the shirt, and it was very arty and very wonderful. Uh, Posca Uniball pencils. We know nothing about those. Posca Uniball. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. I, I got my hands done a lot, or your hands done a lot faster. Pardon? What I was doing your hands on, on the one I did of you. Yeah. I, I did them really fast. Oh. Yes. Crayola pencils are fine. The pigment isn't as saturated. But they work fine. Yeah, you're just going to have to lay down a little bit more pencil to get get there if you want the more saturated. Even the Sergeant Arts, I mean. Yeah, they're not they're not horrible. No, I don't know about the colored pencils, but I know that the watercolor pencils. Yeah, and I would say that are okay. I, I, I you know. All right, you can see how how this is this is going here. I mean, it, it's just it's just a process of building it up, and it isn't something that just happens right away. You have to. Work at it. Mm -hmm. And switching up the colors as you move along there can add some interest and more depth to the areas. And when I'm going to try to blend it out, I on the edge there, I will tend to go into a circular motion rather than a um, line. line because it's easier to 
to affect that that area that you you're mm -hmm. going to um gradually you know build it out there and and, and bring it up okay what else I don't know. Sorry, I'm looking for the link for you guys for that 72. That is not too shabby of a price. Because basically it comes out to 78 cents a pencil. You hearing me? Mm-hmm. Are you impressed by that? Or? Yeah, I think that because what I was paying for mine in open stock was like two bucks a piece. It's just covering up my cleavage. <laughs> Evening up your bangs. What are you typing in? Uh, the 72 count of um, Prismacolor. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's pricey because you're getting <clears throat> 72 pencils, but... Yeah. When you proportion the price out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you will get some weird colors in there that you'll probably <laughs> never use. I will hey, tell Diane. you because I, I have bought the big sets. Reverend Sonia says she likes the plant growing out of the cleavage. Cleavage foliage, Diane says. <laughs> oh, like that's some, funny. Would you like some water? Oh, I don't. Just, just I think we're done. I, I just, I think we might just go ahead and have another one, you know, coming in over I was gonna here. Say, I mean, number one, that'd be a bit tricky. Even getting that. <laughs> Maybe when I was thinner. There's less stuff to work around. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's doing a little flirt of Lee. Times three. <laughs> There we go. I think that looks pretty sure. cool. Oh, they have a 132 count. That's kind of odd. It is. Uh -oh. I'm going to visit the Prismacolor store. It kind of looks like a dangerous place to be. <laughs> Wow. What? Oh, just all the different sets they have and I 
I, I'm pretty happy with what I have right now. I, there's not any colors that I really think that I just am. Dying to own that I don't okay. have. Okay. Hey, and that comes out to 71 cents. Which one? The 150 pack. I think there's some colors in there we do not have. No, I suspect there is. We're showing a little pencil envy. But, you know, the basic thing is, it's just like paints. You can make the color... Yeah. Just, you know, I mean, red-orange. Do you really need red-orange? You just put red over the top of orange. Duh. No, but it's sometimes nice to just grab a pencil. It is really it. nice just to grab a pencil. <laughs> it's really nice just to grab a, <laughs> a tube of paint and squeeze it out. You but know, then, Maxine's asking if we found the book yet. Have you found the book yet? We need to look through... I think oh, it ended, oh. I think it might have ended up in the bookcase down in the gallery room. Oh. The stencil storage book that Maxine sent. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just I think that our baby has hauled off with it somewhere. But I, or it ended up because I was cleaning. Yeah. On See? the bookshelf, and I just didn't even really think about it because I, I sometimes. I, Sometimes I, I clean she's, mad. Yeah. Or I mad clean. She mad cleans. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm, you know. And she, she's she's really snarling when she's doing it, too. Yeah. You don't talk to her because she's, she'll bite your head off. Because there's just, you know, a point. I'm just really loving how this is really... Maxine, I will let you know as soon as I... I and if you remind It has me, not been lost, and it, 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 it's just... <laughs> Just missing in action. Missing in action. Uh, yeah, on the bookcase, yes. <laughs> Rage cleaning, yes, I do. <laughs> she's and she's ugly about it too. <laughs> so Eddie likes a good mad clean. Uh, the only time that I really do clean is when I'm really extremely. Angry, and I, I haven't been lately, so yeah. <laughs> I've also been sick, that has a, a lot to you. Have to really kind of proportion yourself out on, on what you're going to do and what's important when you have X amount of energy and you know that it's it's going to dissipate Hi, Heather. quickly. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's looking pretty splendiferous there. <laughs> See, Diane says, I always did my best cleaning when I was ugly mad. The kids would escape the house in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, raise clear out. <coughs> I got this. <clears throat> Whoa. That's looking good. It is. Um... Do you want to show this? Should we like show this at the very end or should we show this like on Christmas? What? This thing. Oh. I this don't is know. version number two. It's, it's getting better. Okay, Joan. And one of the other nice things about the Identa pen is when you are using it. Oh, here, I'll put a link here since I'm pulling links. You're not going to have streaky black stuff going on here. You notice that that doesn't happen? Because that can be a real problem if you're using a water based marker with a black, just regular pen. It's going to be, you're taking a chance of streaking. Those are pricey little boogers. What? Your identi pens. It doesn't matter. It's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I, did you know that they have different colors? Um, I do. I just need black. You want a five set? 
Oh, I think I got a. Yeah, you got 12 there. Let's see if the 12 set's a little cheaper than the, or per pen at least. Because they're like $4 a pen. I know, but they last a long time and they don't, they're not fugitive. I don't see a set of 12. Pardon? I don't see the set of 12 anymore. If you buy them individually, they're like seven bucks. Oh, it's definitely better to buy the yeah, the set. Yeah, this is Poppy Red, I like Poppy Red. Do you want to hold that up to the to the technology and let people kind of ooh and all it? You know where you. Oh, start. what's going on right now? Is that good? That's good. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to put this link in. There we go. I really like this process red. And here's why. It, it kind of goes into an lavender color when you use it with the blues because the more traditional reds if you use them over the blues because of the complementary color scheme thing you're going to brown it out the process red makes a nice lavender color here and I don't know if I'm going to work these fingers up into you know Okay, so now I want to go up the finger here with orange, and here I want to do blue. So I'm just gonna block that in right now. I don't know, Dev. Even on the um, even on Blick, if you order twelve plus, so you know if you got the set twelve, you're looking at a dollar seventy. And these are coming out. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, don't get them on Amazon. Get those Identa pens on um, Blick. I wonder if, um, I'm going to check Jerry's too, just to. Yeah, I do check Jerry's because a lot of times. <clears throat> now the dealio is I'm going to have to. See about um, other stuff to get the shipping so that's they've kind of worked that in there too it seems uh, Beth hello welcome she would like to know that um, are we going to spray this with sealer or do anything to, to preserve it yeah <coughs> I, I even thought it'd be really cool if we just got plain white mats, mm -hmm. matted them, <laughs> matted them in exactly the same size and put all of them. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. It'd look great in the office. Yeah, because it's kind of got something going. Yeah, same my, kind my, of thing. I have a lot of colorful. Um, you like can get this. rid of that one thing that I keep wanting to take down and redo. Oh, of yours. Mm -hmm. It it was a it was quick art because we needed something. Yeah, we got better art now. We have better art now. Oh, okay, that's a good call. And Anne says um, she likes to Google what she's shopping for. 
um, easy way to comparison shop and you can find a seller that wouldn't you might not expect like office supply stores especially yeah for something like this they may carry them too I I'm gonna look later I'm not gonna drop the link in cuz yeah don't buy those identipens on Amazon they, they they'd be pricey which I don't think was the case before because I'm pretty sure you got those or you just ordered them and I don't know what you paid for them and you didn't care you just wanted your pens. I've had this 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 particular box for quite some time. Yes, that is true. I mean, I would say probably coming up on like two years. Yeah. But the reason I buy them in that mass quantity is because I, I use them. I use them for a lot of different things and I like the idea that I've got the small small um, yeah, but one tip. end, one end does always go poopier before the other. Yes, it does. You just tape it up and move along. <laughs> just saying. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Diane says, just mention out loud um, what you're looking for, and Facebook will start sending you 59 ads with sales. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I could do this all, all day long and uh, the, the colored pencil thing because it really, it's like someone said, it is kind of meditative. But I think this is cool how uh -huh. the fingertips and, and they really, it looks like you're, you're leafing. Mm -hmm. You're sending leaves out to the the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's wrong with my pencil sharpener? I just got to put it in all the way. It says it's sharp. <laughs> oh, I dent it. I'll write it in. Um, I, I will write that in. So earlier on, whenever P, that pen that she has, like, that's right here below me, um, that is the dual tip Sec Secura Identa pen. You can see it has a, Hi, Chris. a fat end, a thin end. And it's, it's that nylon tip, so it's not squishy. It doesn't squish out. Now, I think this squishes out. Yeah, this is a squishy outy end. If you would go slowly, it actually does focus in on it, but you just, you know, you can't be <laughs> working like a ninja. But you could show the tips, too. Just don't go so fast. <laughs> That's my favorite end. I don't like that little pointy thing that makes you crazy. I, I sign my prints with this. Oh, the, the colored pens. Those are those Tombow ones that she's really in love with. They're yeah. pricey little boogers, too. Yeah, they are. I don't know. I, I think I think that we got these. Uh, you got those at Michael's because your baby and Oh, Castle this, this was a Christmas mm -hmm. present from my family. And they informed me, Izzy informed me, that these were for artists. Yeah, they're fancy. They're fancy. And they are fancy, but boy, do I love them. And I've, I've somehow or other, I've lost the blue in this. That might be in my little darling child's. Probably. Yeah, and this is the Food and Suki set. We have a set of sixes. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. I mean, $7.25 on Blick. You know, that's not, not terrible. Now, these little boogers by themselves, $3.79. The Tombos? Yes. Yeah. But in the set, again, that's a good... Ooh, they have pastel colors now. 
No, I don't want any pastel. Here, I'll write that in the, um, I'll write that in the thing too. I'd say that you probably don't want to buy these on, I'll look at Amazon just to, for shiggles and giggles. on that end so I'm going to go orange on this end. About the same price. Because the set of 10 is $17.99 there. And it's Seventeen thirty on Blick, so not too bad. Yeah. I'll put that link in because that yeah that's not. I mean they're again that's kind of pricey for ten markers, but they're cool markers. So there's that. If you guys want to use those affiliate links, I mean, obviously we very much appreciate it when you do. We get a little, little commission thing off of that. No extra cost to you. Maybe one of these days we'll get it from Blick. I did reach out to him, I think. Still waiting. <laughs> We're not cool enough for... for that yet yet I say oh and then Candy she's here in the chat she sent me a link to oh Candy can you write the name of the paint again um and I meant to put that in makers and I just totally forgot because you know like clicking from my email over to makers um a lot can happen <laughs> I squirrel but um I would like to try out some of their paints, and they do have an affiliate program. Which what is this? It's an acrylic paint company. But you don't know the name of Nova it? Nova Color. Yes, I do know, because Candy put it in the chat. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. Um, but yeah, we, we need to, I think next time you need a paint color, let's give them a try. Because then if we do that, then I can reach out to them and sign up for the affiliate program. But I don't want to do that until we actually try them out. Oh, goodness. Those Posca Uniball pencils in Canada are $135 for 36 of them. Whoa! I wonder if we could buy things like, you know, go visit our friends in Canada. I think they some, call that smuggling. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like drugs. If it's for personal use, it's okay. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Uh. All right, Laura, bye. She's heading out. Yeah. She's had as much fun as she could yeah, possibly Yeah, I think she was stand. saying tax duties for daughter call. Catch you guys later. I don't know if she was saying, I don't know what she was meaning by all that. At first I thought she was saying something like, you know, the, the cost of getting someone out of jail. Oh. Karma splurged on the full set of Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. We have not tried those. Now, we do like the, the crayons. Oh. 
Joan says that the paint um, that we we're talking about, that Candy talked about, the Nova color. Um, oh, chat moved. Sorry. Um, she follows an abstract artist named Betty Franks, and she uses them pretty exclusively. Well, I would certainly like to try them. And I noticed that, like, you can even get it in a five-gallon. Like, they offer their paints in five-gallon. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. I really like something. <laughs> Stock up. Yeah, they are American-made. It's I think it's kind of like a smaller business. Um, oh, here, and I'll put the link in. I know sometimes Googling that stuff. If any of you guys do buy it, number one, we would love to know if you like it. And if you have used some of it, post that over Makers. And, and if you do buy some, since you heard it here, let them know that you, they, you heard about it over here. <laughs> I'm giving Mariah a green thumb because she doesn't have one. That was mean. Truthful, though. And it's not really truthful. There are some things that make it <laughs> the strong ones <laughs> boy let me tell you what yeah she she does have her um orchid that she's managed i mean that orchid is old yeah that's like two or three years old and it keeps it's about to bloom i'm very excited i think it might bloom for christmas i don't know though maybe after maybe for new year's No worries, Eddie. Um, Makers is our our Facebook group. Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. That's where many of these lovely folks that you see over here in the chat hang out during the week and, you know, in between all this and whenever we talk about, like, our challenges and all the different things that we do, well, everybody posts it over there. Here and I'll even... Um, I think that's the hashtag. <laughs> See. There we go. That is the link right there. On. <laughs> Candy did it too. Thanks, Candy. Oh, bye, Lisa. And bye, Trish. Are you heading out too? Or is just Lisa heading out? Okay. Are you going to leave my face all white? Mm-hmm. I am. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Ooh, 10 Tombos in Canada are over $50. Now, um, I know you guys were talking about, I can't remember who posted, who said that they purchased from Amazon US and had it shipped. And there weren't any extra, you know, duties or taxes or whatever that they had to pay. And the pricing was better. So that could be an option. I can't remember who posted that. I know Devin commented on it, so I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Devin that... Oh, <laughs> it was Maxine. Okay. <laughs> I think the hands are looking really cool. I think they are anyway.
are we going to do anything else? I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm perfectly happy doing this. I don't know that. Deb's, they did their Christmas last week, so she's she's done. She's done? Yeah. Well, what's she going to do? I had to hang out and chill. And she's exhausted. I'm telling you what, all, all that big hoop-de-doo family stuff, I'm so happy that we just have our little... Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, the big thing used to just stress me out. <clears throat> recover she says that's her plan well here let me throw this out to you guys um because i don't do, do you have thursday thoughts i know we kind of talked about some things but is there anything in particular you guys would like to talk about on thursday thoughts i don't really have anything in the works right now I did want to talk about contronyms. Somebody talked about those, and I have talked about them before. But what is contronyms? You know, words that have opposite meaning mm. but sound the same, like bolt. Mm -hmm. You know, bolt or run away. Mm. That's one of them that I just remembered. <laughs> And, and I hope that you're, what you're seeing here is that when I go over, like, the pink with the blue, I'm getting, I, I'm adding to the lavender there. But it's becoming more complex, more more interesting because of the layers. Hi, hey, Froil. How are hey. you? She asked what time it was going to be, which is actually really great. New, New Zealand, right now, it's, well, it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> There's my brain going back. And then I then like, take back. So, it's, like, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's, like, 11.30 a.m., right? Look at me doing, you know, on Wednesday. Just makes my brain kind of hurt about that, but. That's a pretty good time. But then the uh, the Sunday one is like 5 a.m. on a Monday. <laughs> and we're, we're just doodling. Well, P's just color penciling. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. And there's some chat about different sewing machines in the uh, in the chat, which I know nothing about. I have a brother machine that sits up in the closet. It has nowhere else to sit. Hey, Michelle. Okay, what do you think? I think it's getting there. Yeah. Very rainbowy. You all know I don't usually do that. I don't know. I, I I'm curious. As, I don't know if anybody else is gonna do videos. I would love for other people to do videos. I hope that they'll tag us and you know we know about them when they do them. What videos are you talking about? Doodle bombs. Do you guys like the speed through versions of it? With the music. <laughs> oh, and I know you guys were talking about the replacing of the, the pedals for the um, sewing machines. I had to replace mine because she lost mine. 
And that was a fairly easy thing to do. Oh, Miriam, yeah, you should fit do a speed through video of yours. Get you some, you know. Miriam's going to take part in the um, Makers Collab this next, in, in January. She'll be one of the new YouTubers. Oh, they're just talking about the different machines and a lot of people like the little brother machine. Yeah, mine was, I, well, I got it for Christmas uh, and I think it was under a hundred bucks. Pretty sure. What's a mini, like a, what, how big is a mini one? It's like, you know, what's, what's mini? <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what we should. I want to sew things. I like, I love it when, um, the, the tags and stuff that people sew. Like, remember when we had Carrie Gibson art? Mm hmm Carrie Gibson makes media art. She actually sent us some. I think she thought we were nuts. She's like, what do you want? <laughs> why, why do you want that? <laughs> like, because we, we're, we're not going to sell any. At least not for a while. We will. Okay, yeah, and I saw that earlier, and I was like, did I read that right? Um, Anne has a Hello Kitty. So, she loves it. Like a little one, just for, I guess she kind of uses it for... They did a line of lemon, lime, and plum one. How big is it? Like, size one? I could look it up, but you know, we're here chatting. Did you want to talk about anything else that you're doing there or just, you know? No, I'm just increasing the, um, <clears throat> Increasing the, uh, what do I want to say, saturation. Yeah. Um, you got to be careful with uh, what you're doing there because you need to go in and add some shadow if you're going to keep at the color. I'm not going to add shadow. Because then you start flattening out the hand. I, I, I'm okay with that. I think there's enough shadowing going on there anyway. I, I don't, I don't. But, well, there is in the photo itself. Yes. But then... The more color you add on top of it. Crap. Okay. See what I just I did. And the cat's behind you. <laughs> Being attacked from multiple sides here. <laughs> Kitty. No. Should I come get him? <laughs> it's quite the, quite oh, the show well. today. Oh. <laughs> what? He picked his head up over yours. He's trying to figure out how to get at you. He's demanding to be held. And then he just wants oh, to scratch very your shirt. Kid. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> this is riveting stuff. <laughs> you want to see how happy he is? Oh, look at that kitty. She's just purring away. <laughs> he needed some holding. Oh, the Hello the Hello Kitty sewing machine is 13 inches long and 10 inches high. <laughs> Bye. I like that. And it's, it's, you plug it in and it's electric. 
has a little petal does and it all do that. Regular sewing and then zigzag. Yeah, like does <laughs> how many different how many different not that like you know, yeah. I mean, the, if it does one, we're probably pretty excited about that. I'm assuming it does one. <laughs> it sews. Kitty, <sighs> kitty, 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 kitty. Uh huh. Now he's he's on to the chair. Yes, that's the thing. He like gives you about five seconds, and then he's like, okay. Oh, he's no. Oh. He's not quite through. Small yet. one is it? Oh, made by you know sent the pic to your oh thank you Diane she sent me a picture of one come on down you go kitty oh does straight stitches and zigzag okay oh, plus buttonholes oh my oh yeah, don't you come to me I'm not holding you right now so mad you hole in my pants. <laughs> I haven't gotten over that. <clears throat> Came with many attachments. Hmm. Like what? I don't know, Mariah. I might have to have those Tombow pastels. <laughs> I've just been thinking about that. <laughs> I have been. Mm -hmm. Hello, Art Junkie. <laughs> All right. I I'm, I'm pretty much done here. Oh, my gosh. Look at the dog, dog hair. Look okay. at the cat hair. All over me. Oh, I should talk about my scarf. It's from Turkey. My sister brought it back, and it's something that is very regionally identifiable because each area, each geographical region of Turkey does a little bit different scarf. And these little boogers are just as stiff as a board. Oh, they, they um, starched them? Yeah, but they're crocheted. Oh, yeah, I, I bet um, Violet would really, and you need to schedule some time with her and I know we need to do our our uh, yeah our conflab. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's yeah our crochet conflab. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> uh, I'm very oh. very happy with this. I don't know that because I I kind of have a tendency just to um really go at this and, and do a lot of it and then I don't do it for a long time. Yeah. Because I just... Then the pencils get buried. Pencils <laughs> get buried. <clears throat> oh yeah, I bet that is. I wonder if we have sewing repair shop around here. Do you want to show this thing now? What? Well, Oh, yeah. Our, I mean, this is kind of a big announcement. It is. Because our, our, our person is, is working on it. Now, I've got the other one over here, first generation. <laughs> it looks like carpet. So, that, well, all right. She, yeah, so she's sorry. You may want to put like a white piece of paper behind it. Oh, well, no, that's fine. Yeah, just hold it up to the technology. So, can you guys guess what this might be. <laughs> she handed it to me and I thought, She's like, what oh, is this? Look at it. It looks like carpet. It, it feels really quite wonderful. Here's, yeah, here's the other one. We're, we're getting closer. We figured oh, out that yeah. we don't have the right bit. Ah. You recognize that design? Yeah, it's chrysanthemums. Oh, yeah, a.k.a. Bloom. Yes. Now, my only thing about it is, is it's got a lot of so little... So, you guys can say you were here the day that we we sort of announced. <laughs> We've hinted at it before, but you can see that we're, we're actually <laughs> making progress. <laughs> Shall I stamp it? You can see it's going to be pretty furry and... You know, furry and not very... <laughs> melted foam. <laughs> no, but I think it's really... I think it's important that people know that 
Yeah, these, these things don't just no, and and there aren't like you know that you can't order a kit, and it, it's not even like the cricket where it's like you know. This is not something that they had preset, so oh, we're figuring out a lot to of find a stuff. Colored. <laughs> Might need to order some more. It, yeah, especially if we're going to be getting Inky. in this stamp business. We may need some more ink. I'm not seeing this as, as inking very. I might be surprised. <laughs> I don't think it requires that much. Hey! I don't know. Is this not yeah. horrible? I either need to get the, all the edges or not. I think it needs to be a little bit more raised. Uh, yes. Like I said, we're, we need to, the other bit is on its way. We did not have the proper bit for the foam. Ah. But even all furry and whatnot, it's, that's not too shabby. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, yeah, it's foam. It's a it's foam. It, it's the high density foam. Yeah, that was one of the tricky things too, is us just finding a supplier of that. Yeah. Would, willing to sell it in smaller batches and because you know we're not obviously we're not. I want to see what this one does. <laughs> this might you can be barely even recognize it. That's winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> This is the one that I love. <laughs> this is a really funky, weird one. <laughs> Looks like art. Never to be reproduced. You know, he tried to do a, a three set. That's why part of that's that way. And and that was definitely not the, 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 the proper. Well, it feels very cool. It's velvety. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Velvety. Feeling. So I'd say in the next couple of weeks, we still got a little R&D, obviously, to, to get through. And then, um, I don't know, maybe what we should do is put a, a poll in Makers to see, you know, which design of PMR to Studio. Because we're going to start out with our designs um, before we move on to some of our other designers and such but um that you might be interested i was thinking the spiral swirl leaf would be cool and it being one of our very first mm -hmm. concept designs even though we just recently came out with the stencil that design has been around for a long time remember has, i did the little book and it's been another one that i think would be good would be the nested circles just you want Maybe. to stamp that? Well, you know, Froyle's here. She'd be all over that. <laughs> She's Did like, you fabulous. Just... Love it. Yep, do it. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know if she's talking about that one, but I'm sure she would be. She, the reason I say just... that is because a lot of times on my when I'm doing the small cards uh -huh. have or the ATCs, I'd just like to have something at the end to put in there Well, and it was smaller. It would be cool to do a three set of it that, so you have kind of a small, medium, and large. Yes, because then you could overlay them. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And I think, I'm, I'm wondering if we can kind of do it in a similar way of thinking about how the, how we do the, when we cut them as stencils, we may be able to do that as stamps and make them inside of one another because, you know, the space in between, yeah, you this... don't need it anyway. So if we were smart about that and could have them cut into, and put me down for the first batch you send out. <laughs> okay. <for us. coughs> but yeah, yeah, I think that's a, and it's a pretty, you know, it's, it's not complicated. Don't get me wrong. There's some complications with the nested circles, but I think with the stamping, it may actually be quite, um, quite interesting to see how that, I, I like that idea. That was a good call, P. Let's see, what is a, a, some people saying here? Oh, <laughs> it could be, you could serial number them, extra charge for the first 50 limited edition. Yeah, if you want weird mangled ones. <laughs> 
they're they're can really help pay for some of our our R and D cost because <laughs> that's Brad, Brad's been spending it and it's set up out in the garage so he's been out which is kind of nice it's been quiet in the office <laughs> so there's going to be some pluses to to that weird mangled ones are right up my alley yeah the, the, so the IMPPs of the, the stamps <laughs> hey you saw it did some pretty cool stuff there yeah. So yeah, I don't I don't think we're too far off for sure. Yeah, and, and it's it certainly uh, this this foam takes the um you know, it takes the ink very nicely and transfers it. <laughs> Cuz I mean, I could even just do that part of the <laughs> This is my thing can ruin it. I don't know. See, oh, look at how is... cool that is. And we would never I be mean, able to replicate that though. Like that, all that is is that him cutting the foam in half because we're trying to be as um, frugal with the sample piece that we have. <laughs> I can never get the like we can never get the foam to cut properly on the Cricut because that was one thing we were thinking about doing is those yeah, sheets of. We've tried. We've tried it, and it's. It was either like, you know, and the rollers would leave marks. And I mean, I know some people have done it. Um, Balls or Designs. I, I think she has, she says that she's cut things on her Cricut. I don't, or maybe she has a different machine. I think she has a brother scan and cut. I think that looks cool. But yeah. Oh, and you. And so interesting. This is, uh, she used to mystery shop, shop, so she's actually a certified reviewer. Oh. That's why she she says it's nice that like she knows how to like talk about things and that's practice. That's awesome. Um, ugh, your kitty's back behind you there again. Um, we we bought a see a little like hobby CNC machine, and if this goes well, and we we might you know expand and get larger machines, but. We shall see. It's a nice thing about being what a are you doing? kind of boutique shop that we are. Yeah, baloney. <laughs> <Can he? laughs> He's being a real turd. He, he kind of is. He's like, I want you to hold me, but not really. I want to wrap around your neck. He does. He likes that. He's kind of a pirate cat. He's well, a parrot. <laughs> I saw. I can't remember. I think it was. It was either Evie or Trish in a chair, and the cat. His tail was right down here. <laughs> At night, he sometimes does that. He'll lay at the top there and Aww, flick thanks, his tail. Bob. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> uh, Belinda loves that blue. What? What is that blue? Um, it's Distress Ranger. Mermaid Lagoon. There you go. That was a good color. I think we got three of these in a in a pack or something. There's the color as on the bottom. That's what I do is I go through and make little glue little things to the bottom of these. Yeah. Because you that color that you see there and always may not may or may not be accurate. That one's pretty close. That one is pretty close. Yeah. Sometimes they're not. Oh, Froyle's been sick. <laughs> oh this yeah that they were on the tail end of it. We sound fantastic. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> Like, and, and um, you know, I've been able to get a good night's sleep, which was really wonderful because that was my major problem was, you know, I would wake up as tired as I went to bed because I just wake up coughing all night long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we're good now. We're on the wrong tail end of it. We are. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. This has got to be. <laughs> oh, I, I'm telling you, I feel so much yeah. better. I, I it was just an effort to get out of bed there for a while. I mean, for two days, I was in I, I was in bed almost all, all day and all night, too. Yeah, yeah, you were you were down. I I was really. really I I only I had that one afternoon that I I actually took a nap. So. Well, we just get rid of something, and Izzy brings something else home. Uh, yes, that is. Yeah. So, you know, at least maybe we'll make it through Christmas because we've got 
prime rib on the menu again. And I swear to God, if we get sick again, we're not ever going to have prime rib on and the it's, menu. It's <laughs> like jin- it jinxes. You start the- talking about it, and then we end up with some crazy sickness. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't we don't eat a lot of red meat around here, but you know, every now and then. Yeah. Well, that's not true. No, I don't know. Yes and no. Hamburgers we eat fairly often. We shouldn't. But. The, z- the zombies are attacking. Yeah, we got all th- kinds of things going on. All right, guys. Well, I think um, it's probably a good point in time. That was fun. I'm glad that we got to reveal that to you guys. That was awesome. That's for reals here. And got to see that and give the thumbsy upsy she wants in circles. <laughs> Thought that that's a big shocker. Love you. For <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you would be I like, want, oh, no, I I'm wanted, good. I've wanted circles for <laughs> yeah. my ATCs for quite some, some time. time. Yes. Because um, she kept saying, "When are we getting a stamp thing going?" <laughs> I, I was, I, I yeah, I, I, because they started talking to me about it, and I wasn't supposed to say anything for a long, long time. And then she forgot for a while because we were still, and, and like just even getting the parts or the the actual machine, um, ones that are in stock or available. Like it, there was a whole big thing, so it it, it took some it took some time, so. All right, well, we will be back here on Thursday. If you guys have ideas about what you want to talk about for Thursday Thoughts, I have a couple. Um, they're just more like little, little angry rants about things, but, you know, that's some thoughts. <laughs> I try to get over it by Thursday. <coughs> Mariah holds on to things longer than I do. A little I bit. had forgotten all about it until uh, right when she said something. <laughs> she does not forget. Yeah, I try to shake it off, you know. It's like, you know, I went in doesn't do anything good for you that's for sure all right um but we will be back here on thursday and then um back on sunday which is christmas day i don't know how long we'll be on but you know all that yada yada hopefully you guys will um, plan and um hit the come back set your reminders that sort of thing we would love to see you but we totally understand this time of year so yes hugs and kisses and all that to y'all um if we don't see you happy holidays And we'll see you in the new year. But hopefully you'll come back for the next two streams. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Say bye, Bentley. (laughs) Here's your paw. Wait, bye.